welcome to Calculus. We conquer our fears and flex in the face of adversity. On this episode, Stevenson will demonstrate... Let's keep trying working on our U-substitution techniques. Now, when you're doing your U-substitution, remember you want to figure out what's your U. What are you replacing? Typically, what you want to look for is look at the structure of your integrand. You want to look for something that's inside that when you differentiate, it could create something outside. So I'm looking at this inside right there, and I'm thinking that is a good idea for my U. You know what's the worst case? What's the worst case? It doesn't work. No biggie. We try something else. Well, let's try this one. Let's see if this works out. Okay. So that's going to be my U. So now what I need to do is create my DU. Okay. This is just straight power rule. Now remember, your DU should take into account what is outside whatever U is inside. So U is inside this radical. So the radical is going to get stuck with U. So ignore that. So what is outside of it? I have an x squared and I have a dx. Okay, look, I have an x squared and a dx, sweet. But I have a six. Does this have a six? No. So what do we do? Divide the constant to the other side. Okay, now see that? Now it matches. Now I'm ready to take this and rewrite this entire problem. Now, see how I have a 160u? Just take that and put it out front in the beginning. It makes it a little easier. So the x squared dx is getting absorbed into the du, and this entire expression is going under a radical. So it's no longer 5 plus 2x cubed, it's just a simple u. And the reason this works is remember when you have an equation you're saying both these sides are equal. That means in place of one you can write the other. Now I'm ready to do my antiderivative. Now this is going to be reverse power rule. So at this point, once you're in terms of u, you're going to put your substitution of u back in so your function goes back in terms of x. Because the original problem was in terms of x, not u. We're only using the letter u as a change in variables to make the integration much simpler. So that is my antiderivative to this indefinite integral.